that my hand was hurting I think I I, I think I had kind of like a bad position on my hand and it, it kind of hurt and so this is kind of like a therapy thing uh, but anyway uh, I, I was I, I wasn't intended to watch that movie in the first place uh, uh, the reason I watched the, the movie that I'm talking about which is none other than the uh, what was it Arthur the King is that I felt a little bit daring and I decided to go watch the Regal Theater's Mystery Monday uh, Mystery Monday presentation it, it, which it, it, it's something that it, 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 it was kind of like my first time doing something like that where uh, they have the uh, they uh, they have kind of like these, this event that uh, they showcase uh, every I think it is every Monday or once in a while and then and you you don't you're not they don't tell you what movie is gonna it's gonna be they're gonna tell you the ratings and uh, if this may what what the movie is rated and 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 probably some of the uh, the time the time frame the, 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 uh, how long the movie's gonna last so I decided to go there expecting some kind of movie. Uh, but I never expected that the Mystery Monday movie was gonna be this one, uh, Arthur the King, which I never planned to watch it, even though the trailer was kind of like me rolling my eyes out because it it has two elements that are that goes against my taste. For one, it is a dog movie, and normally these kind of dog movies are kind of like emotionally manipulative it's not that i hate dogs or i hate animals or something like that but most of these movies when they have kind of like a bond between human and dog it sometimes comes up as kind of like very sappy and and kind of like how can i say it, un, uh, emotionally manipulative it, 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 and the second reason is that it, it this is based on a true life event and if you know me, I'm usually very picky when it's about true uh, true life event movies, in which I I am I am I I'm most when it's these kind of movies, I'm usually looking that it is as faithful to the for, to the source material or the true facts as possible. Uh, and I most of the time they're not like that. I usually kind of, they're romanticize it, they exaggerate it, and I don't never like it when they do that because because honestly, some many movie goers are so gullible and and, and they're so lazy on on doing their research that they're gonna eat it up and they they're gonna think that everything is, is kind of like a fact and and here and also it comes up the problem if if it is used as a as material for schools so so i i i, I am kind of like in a way that i am in this fine line when it's about biopics Luckily, we got movies like Oppenheimer that actually, well, they took some creative liberties. It stays close to the to, to the facts and 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 what is true. So, uh, so there are exceptions to the rule, like I said in Oppenheimer. But the Arthur the King, it's no Oppenheimer. And here's the thing. 
I, well, the first time I was watching the movie and a few minutes, I was getting a little bit on board, but then something, something fishy came out. And then I just, it, I just decided to pull out my smartphone, even during the movie, because I was beginning to make my research. And the more I made my research during the movie, the more I began to dislike the movie. And the more I began to dislike the audience eating this, eating this. And, and, the be and, and then when the movie ended, I come up, by uh, with the conclusion that this movie it is uh it is something so decent that is hidden in a lot of bullshit i really didn't like that movie i i wish i could have liked it because because honestly i there are some good things that that, that this movie handled but it it dwells with a lot of bullshit and factual bullshit that I, it makes me really, really hate it. And, and, and as a person who really got into the, into the facts of the whole matter, I was appalled to see why they decided to make this movie s it, it, it was beyond insulting. And you know what? It's funny thing that, that the Oscars kind of bragged themselves about, you know, being culturally sensitive or something like that. And I did come up something saying this line and I was like, oh yeah, right. And you snub Godzilla minus one. And now you see this, a Lionsgate movie that, that apparently they, uh, they just decided to make changes for, you know, for conveniences. And, and all those changes, I, I think that is a total disrespect to the original source material. So where do I start? This is based on a book that is that a non-fictional book made by a real-life person, it, in, it, it, a, a, per, a person named Michael uh, Mi, uh, Mikhail Lin, uh, Lin, Lin, Lindnord. Lindnord. Uh, did I say that right? Lindnord, who is who was this Swedish adventurer who he had kind of like an incredible story that in in 2014 during one of his competition competitional races in Ecuador, he. Uh, he finds a dog, a dog that he names it Arthur, and 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 they form a bond, and and they they finish the race together. Uh, the dog was in kind of like in pretty bad condition, so he, uh, so he just after many and uh, many de dealings with you know with with the law and 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 and, and, and medical stuff with with the dog. They, they they sent the dog to Sweden where he got taken care of and had a happy had a had a little bit of a happy life. Had a little bit of crossroads here and there. He opened he opened even a foundation in the name of the dog uh, for for protection of animals. And and yeah, that's basically kind of like the gist of that that story. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, the dog passed away uh, due to illness, and uh, I think he got a, to a brain tumor, uh, as far from uh, from I can remember. But still, it is when you realize it, for a real life story, it is cute, and you know what? The idea for making it a movie, it wasn't exactly bad, except that they bought a lot of the facts for convenience, and that part I really, really despise. The more I, I was beginning the fact, I really despised the whole creative liberties that they got. Uh, here's the th uh, so here's the thing. Uh, they made the movie based on you know on on the whole on the whole race and all that stuff. And, and first of all, who's gonna be the the guy who played the Swedish guy? Well, they got an American guy. And they got Mark Wahlberg. The the what? No guy. And you know what? I wouldn't have minded. I wouldn't have minded, you know, Mark Wahlberg playing uh, playing the actor, uh, uh, playing the guy, uh, Michael Le uh, Michael Lindor. Alta, they call him Michael, but here's the biggest BS. They didn't make him American. No, no, they didn't make him Swedish. They made him American, living in Denver. And and also, during that time, he had his wife. He had a wife. And yeah, he had a wife and with a daughter, with a daughter, and the daughter is, is they name her Ruby, which should be insulting because that wasn't the that wasn't the daughter's name. 
the daughter's name, uh, the daughter's name at the time was Philippa Lin Lindor, and he even had a, and he, they even had a son named uh, later named Thor, Thor Lin Lindor. So, and so I don't that. Uh, uh, that's kind of disrespectful to, to to the children of the of the guy, uh, and, and, and also as an Ecuadorian, I also felt insulted when I when the movie decides to take place the whole their whole race not in Ecuador, but in Repu Republica Dominic the Dominican, uh, in Santo Domingo uh, more more clearly. It's, why? And it was worse when I found out that at first they wanted to try it in Puerto Rico, but no! <laughs> you missed the chance to bring Ecuador, you know, as a highlight. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? And, uh, uh, so, that was so bad. That was a bad inaccuracy that it just, it's just insulting. It, it's, it's, it's as bad as the, as the inaccuracy from Pearl Harbor. So, uh, so okay, let's keep going because, as a and as a movie itself, I'll give it credit that it was well shot. It was kind of like cinematographically well done. There was a, I even thought there was a scene in which a little bit of the lens flare was a little bit too much, but it kind of plays out kind of for a decent movie. But still. It plays out some of the obvious traps that that a lot of biopics that they just decided to make it more exciting. They just begin to exaggerate a lot of things that, to the point that it was that you just can't believe it. Um, it, it for example, they just wanted to paint uh, our protagonist as how can I say as he was a wash up guy that previously he was then. Uh, shame and social media that never happened in, in the, to the real guy, uh, and so he decided to you know form a team. And, and, and sometimes some of the dialogue get a little bit too we too weird. There was kind of like this awkward moment in which the uh, the four the four the, the four people on the team they just decide to hold it up. They were preparing for the race, and then when, and then the, the woman is like, "Oh yeah, my father has cancer," and the, everyone stares at her almost like awkwardly. But even like me, it was like. It, that was kind of like an awkward moment, and it doesn't it doesn't technically uh, it doesn't technically affect one hundred percent into the movie, and then they give some other character kind of like these arcs that come out of nowhere and doesn't basically impact the whole movie. It, it, and the whole thing is so manipulative, and, and because there's the dog, and everyone's like, oh, how cute! There's the there's the dog, in which to the movie's credit. Uh, the, 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 most of the time they use a real life dog. Uh, I think there are some parts in which they might CGI the dog, uh, although I didn't notice too much because I was more looking at the facts, at the facts of the movie instead of, of that. Uh, uh, but either either that, um, I will take that uh, as uh, instead of of that. What was it, the Chris Sanders movie with that uh, with that dog? Call of the Wild, I think it was called. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was a horrible CGI dog. And then uh, they just decided to build tension for the sake of tension. Like for example, there is um there is a time in which the movie basically kind of wastes wastes like five to eight minutes because they just decided to put a dangerous moment where uh, uh, where. Where, where our protagonist and then the sole female of the of, of the team they are having this dangerous situation where they're stuck on a sit line and, uh, and dangling dangling with their bicycles on their on their, on, on their backs in which that's very inconvenient considering that uh, considering the weight of the bicycles and and this is where the even the acting got worse because the uh, because none of these characters sounded scared of being dan dangling on a zip line uh, uh, like hundred meters high and and they they just don't sound scared. And, and yeah, they they made kind of like this they, they made this drama uh, the uh, made up drama you know to make it kind of like feel bad for the dog and yeah that the dog is kind of like heroic although there were some moments in which the movie kind of feels like the dog is just, just inconsequent it's just kind of like inconsequential and, and 
it, and yeah, it, and then when the, when they, when the race is finished, the movie then has to kind of like, takes 15 minutes extra, you know, for, for, for looking for the custody of the dog and, and his, it, he, and, you know, sending it from Puerto Rico to, to, to Denver when it should have been from Ecuador to Sweden. And yeah, it leaves kind of like a happy ending. And the people, and the people, of course, cheer up because oh, how cute the dog! How oh, cute the dog! And and then the letter saying, of course, that that they build the foundation with arts, uh, you know, the arts foundation. And, and but and then the sh in the credits they showed, you know, the real life photos. But in, in my case, it was like, you know, you don't deserve to have real life photos, especially considering that eighty five percent of all the all the elements that you put in the, in the movie are made up and they are inaccurate. You made a disservice to and lose the opportunity to represent Ecuador. And, and, and I shouldn't be, you know, this kind of guy who should care about representation, but what I do care is that it's about, it's about facts. Uh, the, the more accurate the facts are on a movie, uh, the, uh, the better I appreciate it. I'm very, very peak picky when it's about biopics, and it is saddens me because it's, it's, it that, it, that is a good, that was an opportunity to show this interesting story about this man who bonded with a dog, and then he, and then he, he, the dog have you know have have, have coming from you know. Uh, a, a very poor situation and then get a happy life until its death and having a foundation in, in the name of him it, so it could help, you know, build a law that it could help, uh, you know, other animals. And of course, it, and of course, I didn't mention that uh, that that months later, uh, the dog, uh, the whole situation was going to turn into a lawsuit when the alleged real owner of the dog came to uh, came to demand for the dog, and it opened kind of like a, a big lawsuit. And, but uh, and of course, there were controversies surrounding by saying that the dog was uh, was was actually abused. Uh, because the do uh, when the dog was found, he wasn't in a good state. He he he, uh, he was a little bit mangled, hurt, and his teeth was rotting, and he was in kind of like a poor state. And 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 of course, they had to go through paperwork to send him to Sweden, and then. And and then well the dog had to be quarantined for 120 days before he he was officially given to the owners, so there is an interesting story behind it but but you just Hollywoodize this uh, this whole thing and I'm not don't appreciate that I I don't appreciate that that that, that move and that's why for me. It's very hard to recommend uh, Ar uh, Arthur the King. Sorry.